CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.7, Given a Scenario, Apply Application Installation and Configuration Concepts. Software Requirements. With any software installation, be it an operating system or an application, having a foundational knowledge of the hardware that will be supporting the software is a crucial first step. At the core of any software installation process is the Hardware Compatibility List, or HCL, for short. The HCL serves as a detailed guide provided by software vendors, listing all the hardware components and systems that have been tested and verified to be compatible with their software. This includes processors, memory modules, storage devices, network adapters, and even peripheral devices like printers and scanners. The importance of the HCL cannot be overstated, it acts as your first line of defense against the frustration of software incompatibility. By consulting the HCL before installation, you can avoid scenarios where the software might fail to install or run as intended. Once you get past the HCL, you will also find out that software installations come with some minimum hardware requirements too. For example, the Windows 10 operating system has specific hardware requirements that must be met to ensure smooth operation. These requirements serve as a baseline to ensure that the operating system can perform basic functions effectively. To install and run Windows 10, your system must meet the following minimum hardware specifications. These include a compatible 1 GHz or faster processor, at least 1 GB of RAM for 32-bit OS versions or 2 GB for the 64-bit OS versions, a minimum of 16 GB of free hard disk space for 32-bit OS versions and 20 GB for the 64-bit OS versions. A DirectX 9 or later compatible graphics card with a Windows Display Driver Model 1.0 driver. And a display with at least a 800 by 600 resolution. Additionally, having an internet connection is necessary for performing updates, downloading drivers, and accessing online features. Continuing on, you will also find that specialized applications can come with some demanding hardware requirements too. The CPU is the brain of your computer, and its capabilities directly affect how well your applications run. Some applications require multi-core processors to function efficiently. Video editing software and 3D rendering applications benefit from CPUs with multiple cores and higher clock speeds. Additionally, virtualization tasks also require CPUs that support Intel's VTX or AMD V technologies. If your CPU lacks these features, you might encounter issues with hypervisors or virtual machines. The amount of system RAM is crucial for overall performance. General productivity applications may run fine on 4GB to 8GB of RAM, but demanding software like virtual machines, large databases, or complex simulations can require 16 gigabytes or more. When installing graphic-intensive applications, it's important to consider whether your system uses a dedicated graphics card or integrated graphics. Dedicated graphics cards, such as those from NVIDIA or AMD, have their own video RAM and processing power, enhancing performance in tasks like 3D rendering, gaming, and video editing. Conversely, integrated graphics share the system's RAM and are built into the CPU, leading to lower frame rates and less efficient handling of graphic-intensive applications. For 3D movies or high-definition video editing, a dedicated graphics card is essential for smooth, high-quality playback. Storage requirements are also a software installation factor. Ensuring that you have enough space for the application itself, temporary files, updates, and the data the application will generate is crucial. For example, a professional video editing suite might require several gigabytes for the software alone, plus additional space for video files, project files, and rendering outputs. Having ample storage space helps avoid performance bottlenecks and ensure smooth operation. Lastly, some specialized software may require external hardware tokens for authentication. These tokens ensure the software is authorized to run on your system, adding an extra layer of security. If the necessary hardware token is not present, you might receive a message indicating that the software is not authorized to run. This is common in high security environments where access to certain applications is tightly controlled. Now that you have verified you meet all the necessary hardware requirements, there is one more thing to consider, and that is the impact of installing new software. 
Installing new software can significantly affect your device. For instance, high-end graphic design software can slow down your system and consume substantial disk space, potentially causing storage shortages for other applications. New software can also strain your network bandwidth. Cloud-based services that involve constant data syncing and backups can significantly increase network utilization. Another possibility would be video conferencing software, which can affect network performance, causing latency and connectivity issues for other users on the local area network. Next, new software often requires regular updates, patches, and troubleshooting, which can add to the workload of IT support teams and potentially cause operational disruptions if not managed properly. And finally, from a business standpoint, new software can present licensing and training issues. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.